Can you, you know, this is can I ask you yeah. something like I will switch uh, like discussion now like this moment like uh, like for some some funny story can you tell you something about uh, your like uh, about your funniest set or some situation in in field business when when you have like some funny funny story from the from sunset uh, there's all there's one story that comes back to my mind uh, Robert denies that this happened he said he would never say that and I think he says that because it sounds like when I say it that he's not being compassionate uh, just the opposite we were in the, some very difficult you know physical stuff going on in the deer hunter and uh, um, our first attempt uh, with that log going down the river that log actually got stuck and we we got caught under it uh, and uh, uh, the boat had a big Panavision camera with the director of Mike Chimino and everybody and they got scared because we were stuck Christopher I think was down to one end and he, he got out and was able to squeeze out but I think Bobby and I were looks like we were going to get crushed by this log was three tons I think I, it was just because I was calling him by his character name he, he looked at me and said John, will you get out of character? We're gonna die. Oh wow! wow. You ever gonna go the way? Yeah, wow. And I think I think we we pretty much almost started laughing at that point, cracked up, and we dropped, and we fell quite a ways oh, wow. from me. But we hit we hit the water and we came up and bumped into. And we think we both actually there was we recognized there was an upside down old of those old long boats they called them in Thailand in the water. We came up around that, up and to see the helicopter still going around. But that moment, <laughs> for me, you know, that was a serious movie. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. And very strong lesson. Other things happen. I don't want to bring up. Yeah, There's actually, involved with that film. I and, spoke uh, with with our friend like maybe a week ago about the big because he is a helicopter pilot actually. And I spoke with him a week ago, and actually, when he was trying to explain me how to operate with helicopter and everything, actually, it's really, really difficult. And like, Very difficult. It's really difficult, and like, I'm surprised actually because when you did, when you did the scene with helicopter, actually, everybody who is included in that scene, it's really, really, really kind of amazing job actually. To, to set the up everything. The amount of shifting yeah. weight, you know, we didn't we didn't think about it, but the people inside, how many shifting moments for the pilot? E oh yeah, with oh people yeah. People moving on the struts and moving around inside, and oh, yeah. people coming in and out and doing things in a plane typically. It's amazing that you guys uh, stayed alive. I think yeah, we yeah, were yeah. very that's lucky. That's important. Yeah, we were yeah. very lucky. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I know I, I had a drop myself, you know, once, not as high as the long shot. But we were conscious of the fact that there was broken trees on the water. Now they scouted everything. Oh, right. And when we fell, we kind of knew where we were supposed to fall. <laughs> I mean, I had to fall. I, there was another stuntman who did a drop too. Mm -hmm. And I think Bobby too. Uh, but the, uh, the difficulty was like, are we sure? Just because we can see a broken stump over there of a tree sticking out of the water, that there's not one where I'm going to fall. Is there rocks underneath where I'm going to fall? It was very, very unsure, you know? And uh, uh, a lot of times, you just, you, it's like you, you're in a service. You're doing uh, you're doing a job. Exactly, that's part. Uh, uh, you, somebody, a... the director says, do this, you do it. John, I have you know? a question for you as a, as a director, because um, you worked with some of the you know greatest directors. You know, you worked with Terrence Malick and you worked with David Lynch and, and Michael Cimino oh and, and Lewis yeah. Foreman. Is there anything that you can you know tell us from that experience? And, and I mean, those those people are masters. And, and, and anything for the young filmmakers, you know, um, you as an actor, they're like you know, they're very different. They're all they're all masters of their craft, but I suppose they're all different. 
but in, in working with you. Yeah, yeah. but maybe with, your experience with working the, the, the most completely different. Yeah, completely different characters of men, completely different people. And the only thing that I can understand about any any one of them was their support for me as an actor. So that's the unifying. A lot of unifying. times, I'm a, a lot of times I'm not feeling. I don't know. I, I don't know. What do, what do I do? And my heart just takes over. And it's because of support from a director.